Welcome back to another Uncharted 4, a Thieves and Gameplay walkthrough. This is part number 20. 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 We were playing as young Drake, young Nathan Drake, I should say, and the last episode was very intense. So Shoreline caught up with us, and we learned that Sam never had a deal with Al Alcazar. It was all Rafe. So now he betrayed us, and now Rafe took Sam, and now he tried to kill us. Elena found us, and now we're going to a flashback. And then we Chapter sixteen. So, let's continue. This has been an intense walkthrough. Think this place has no water? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't How about the front door? Pretty sure the front door will be locked. We could always try it. Yeah. It was worth a try. I know, you know, some people might not want to open, or not, might want. Some people might not lock their doors. What do you think a place like this costs? Probably too much. Wait, what are you doing over there, Sam? Young Sam? Okay, what, you don't know how to go through bushes now? Come on, Nate. Even though you're younger, you should still know how to go through a bush. Where did Sam go? Oh, he's over here. Sam! Oh. Let's look around back, huh? Yeah, sure. But what is this place? Hey, Nate, look. It's an open window. Oh, yeah. Here, follow me. Wait, what? Okay. Give me a hand. Oh. <coughs> what open window? I don't see an open window. There you go. Oh, up there? I can't reach. I can't reach. I'm about to take the long way around. Coming. Oh, how did you see that? Uh, are you gonna go? Oh, well, I was waiting for you. Uh, are you gonna let me in? Okay. Are uh, you gonna let me in? Thank you. What is this place? Spooky. Spooky? Right here. I brought a spare. This is weird. So, are we looking for any particular room? And just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? I found something. I think. On a box. Ah, it's got some dusty shoes. Here. Dusty shoes. You're not gonna close that back up? No. Oh. I found a paper. Time to read. Miss Evelyn, my name is Ken Ichiro Namba. What a weird name. I recently attended your lecture at the Adventurers Lodge last week regarding your free and fine, the set of Takugawa era armor you obtained off the coast of Okinawa. Oh, I know that place. That's where my dad was born. Your presentation was utterly fascinating, though I was surprised by the consenting tone of the question from the audience. I believe recognition and respect for one's work should not be contingent on race or gender. I imagine we have both struggled in that regard. I write today because I have come into possession of what I believe to be French jousting armor, though I am not completely certain of the date nor the country of origin. If you have any time to spare, I would appreciate the insight of someone with your expertise. Apologies if this is too forward, but I will only be in the city for another month. In September, I traveled to Iceland to study a Viking burial site, and I would deeply regret missing the opportunity to speak with you further. I'm staying at the Lennox if you wish to contact me. I seriously hope you do. Kindest regards, Kenichiro Namba. I wonder who that is. Okay. Find anything, Sam? I didn't find anything. Ooh, you didn't want to check this box? Okay, I guess it wants me to find it. Nope. Wow. It's not going to be inside it. The boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. Okay, so... 
where do you want us to go? There's no downstairs. At least from what I saw. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Better hope no one's home. All right. So, how do we find them? Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. Putting a needle in the haystack. Well, the needles, the, the haystack's not that big, so. It's just a house, not like a mm. field. Oh! Yeah. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real. Uh, yeah. No. Relics of Tokugawa Liyasu, Ken Ichigo Nanba, Kyoto University. Oh, that's not it. Oh, they got a foosball table. Um. Hey, Sam. Really crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty base. Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty base just sitting around like that? Um, don't know. You tell me. Oh, I found a paper. More reading. Dear Eddie, greetings from Peru. I hope my letter arrived safely. There was no post office here, only a small patch of grass serving as a runaway. Hang on, guys. Hi, guys, sorry about that. Serving as a runaway in slow boats up the Manu River. I wish you could have seen the howler monkeys yesterday. Bright orange creatures with expressive faces and ample curiosity. I would not describe the noise they make as a howl, however. It is like a hurricane wind mixed with a lion's roar. That's weird. Were it not illegal and dangerous, I would bring home one for you as a pet. It's not dangerous. Your mom is busying herself with preparations for tomorrow's excursion to the jungle. We hope to conclude our research. She sends her love. I promise when you are older, we shall bring you on a trip so that you might experience the larger world for yourself. Be good for grandmother, stay ho study hard, and we shall see you in a month. Love, Dad. Huh. Hey, these boxes remind you of anything? What boxes? Any place we ever lived. Exactly. I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? I'm just gonna move again in a month. Yep. Where's the asshole? You could say that. Um, I don't think there's anything here, Sam. I'm not really seeing a whole lot. I mean, can I go back to that paper and, like, flip it again? Because I said flip, so there might be something on the back. No, it's not going to let me. Oh, well. Where did Sam go? Oh. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say, can we like go through this door? Um, Here, let's do it again. Okay. Wow. It's so nice. It's. Some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah, I can tell. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. This is like a museum. A sarcophagi. Sarcophagi. Sam. <laughs> this is real. What? What is this place? How is it real? Uh, let's go find out. <laughs> if you say so. Huh, this one's Roman. Third, maybe fourth century. So I'm guessing down we go? Mm -hmm. I found another box. Maybe this box will prove fruitful. There's another one. But is it the right one? No. Ancient Persepolis, Amir Abbasi University of <laughs> Tehran. Uh, I was the funny one. Oh, well, yeah, we don't care if you were the funny one. Anything there, Sam? Okay, I was just making sure. 
Um, any boxes in here? Nope. Hey, you been here? Check me out. Now who am I? Huh? That's... Dr. Livingston! Come on! Who's that? Nice. Nuts! I'm not even interested. Ooh, there's a note here. More note reading. Man. Please join us at the Adventurer's Lodge for Animal Holiday Gala. December 21st, 5 to 10 p.m. 5 p.m. Open Bar, 6 p.m. Buffet Dinner. 7 p.m. Presentation by President Charles M. Walsh on his recent expedition to Africa. 8 p.m. New Member Initiation. Cyro Auction ends at 9 p.m. Please RSVP by December 1st. It's been a while. I do hope you'll join us this year, Charles. Okay. That's not really anything interesting. I found a globe. So where are we going? Huh? Go anywhere in the world. Oh. Where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay. Well. Here we go. India. No. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. What's huh? in Moscow? Yeah, it might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. Okay, what was the point of that? I just read this one. Oh, yeah? My journey to something. It's kind of incredible. My journey to Lhasa. I was the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. Lhasa, okay. What? What is this? Let's try again. England. Sure would be cool to see Windsor Castle. Right, Sam? Hey, if you don't look at me, it's not my fault you weren't born yet. It's not like I remember much of it anyways. And it wasn't that cool. Uh-huh. I understand the point of that globe. Maybe I'll figure it out once I find a different clue. I don't know. Hey, check it out. Oh, no. What are you doing, Nate? What is this? I am fine. Wow. This thing was as big as a woman who worked his dining hall. Wouldn't take much. Judging by the artifacts, it certainly had enough money for it. Where are you, Sam? This is a huge house. How are we supposed to find this? Samurai. Do uh, you recognize the crap? Uh, how are um, let's see, don't tell me, don't tell me, uh, Tokugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. I'm a master. Oh, there's another note on the floor. Allow the sarcophagus to join its fellows from an ammo shop's tomb in our museum. I soon so understand your reluctance, so you did beat us to the fine after all, but our offer is more than generous, and I can assure you will be retreated and displayed with proper care and respect due to the sarcophagus and the effort undertaken to retrieve it. You have enjoyed its magnificence in your home for years. It is time to share it with the rest of the world. I hope you want to reconsider my offer. Go to Sylvie Peter K. G. R. Acquisitions. Oh my god. You're never gonna find this freaking box. Music! You wanna listen to some music? Nope, I guess not. There's another book. I think. Oh, my Livin' up the place. Since when do you like classic music? I am a man of huh. many tastes. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Nice. Look at these. Compass, sundial. Man, there's so much reading. Oh, that picture though. Evelyn, I, hap I happen across the latest issue of In Free Life and I was both surprised and delighted to see you grace its cover once again. I'm pleased to see you looking so happy still doing what you enjoy. In spite of a separate life, your accomplishments still bring me no small amount of pride. Attached is the photo from Edmund's graduation top of his class. I guess we did something right. Uh, he would kill me if he knew I told you. I want you to know that Edmund was devastated when you chose to join me to India without him. The past summer. He had grown into a capable and self-assured young man. His flashes of insight remind me of you. 
Particularly that look that crosses his face just before the Eureka moment. What's more, he loves and admires you more than I can express. I've had my share of struggles over the years, and I've never asked you for anything. I know I'm asking you to take Edmund on your next journey. I know it'll be a challenge, and you might not move at the pace you're used to, but I promise you this. You'll find a joy in the likes of which no one else can provide. I look forward to hearing about your next big find. Keep making all of us proud. One more good. Ken. Who is this Ken? And why is he talking to us? Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Hey, you've got your favorite book here. Written? Pilots. Which one? The General History of the Robberies and Murders of the Most Notorious Pirates. Yeah, I'm kind of like a generally made up history. You know, made up history. Okay. I don't think Mom's journal's eye anyway in here. Let's, uh. Let's check upstairs. Just okay. French. How does he know what these things look like? I mean, seriously. What did you do a bunch of research? I mean, I mean, hey, good job to you if you'd like to do research, but I mean, no. So let's go to the one that you were at. Really? Where the heck? Did Sam go? The air vent. Up there. Oh. Yeah. That could give us into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I can't fit in there. Can you handle? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. All right. Let's see what you got then. Oh, uh, well, I can't reach that. How do you expect me to get up there? I can't get up there. I don't even know there was stairs here. What is this gonna do? Wait, what am I doing? Hey, look how strong I am! I can't even move it! Oh. <laughs> Uh -oh. What is this? It's a board. Let me see. Nothing still works. Come in. Oh my god. A smile, alright? <laughs> Don't lose it. Come on! Oh, I gotta keep shaking it until it looks clear! Oh, I thought we had this picture, don't we? Like in our house? We're gonna keep shaking it forever! Cool. Alright, I guess you decided to take off your helmet. Oh! Gotcha. I'll be fine. Wait, where are we? I'm supposed to get all the way over there? Yeah, I'm gonna climb up. <laughs> oh no! Sorry! Oh, come on, me. Okay, don't tip it, don't tip it! Hang on, I'm almost there. Alright, I made it. Alright, I'm going in. It's gonna get really dark. Never mind. Alright. No, no, this way's blocked. There we go, through here. Yeah, this has got to be it. Come on. You fucking... I'm okay. 
Okay. I'm in. Uh, Hold on. no. I will never get the door open for you. Got it. Oh, well, I found a key. Oh, uh, would that help? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't let you in. Maybe, you, you, maybe you're gonna try and kill me. Should I let you in? Or are you gonna kill me? Okay, oh. come on in. Anything? Not yet. Didn't see any journals. I don't know. I still got the other locked door, so come on. Oh. Okay. Oh, this one? Well, how do we get into this one? Cause, oh, the key. I forgot. Wow. Uh, Let's see what we find. Here. Oh, I found another box. Maybe this box will be the best one. Whoa. Found it. Found it? I think we found it. Did we get it? This is it. <laughs> Yay! What do we need these for, though? What is that? Henry Avery. Oh, Henry Avery. Tick. That was really high. I guess that's how we learn about Henry Avery. Henry Avery. Henry Avery. Henry Avery. Put up your hands. Uh oh. There's no need for that. What happened? Hey, you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> alright, alright. I'm sorry, Nathan. What? So what now? Now, we wait. For? For the police. Oh, God. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... Okay, come on. Well, then don't. Oh, there's no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences of our actions. Hmm. At least let him go. I brought him down here so we can see our mom's stuff. That's it, he had nothing to do with this. I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah. And that journal. It was our mom's. Uh oh. You're Cassandra Morgan's voice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I <coughs> Wait, are you Cassandra Morgan? I could have shot you. Yeah. You're still nice, so, uh, do you want Wait, are you? Okay, well, that's just nice. You know her mom? She worked for me. Oh. As I'm sure you noticed. By the collector of sorts. Nah, that's sort of an understatement. So... Almost like your translator? Kind of. Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. Historian? We could have accomplished so much together. What, then she betrayed you? But then her illness. I'm sorry. Discoveries. 
Ah, the old place. Yep. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm sorry about this, but I gotta go ahead and leave off the episode here. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below in the video, and I will see you in the next video. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye guys, and have a fantastic day. Bye guys.